Hey, 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 what is going on guys? This is Jadron coming at you with another video of a tutorial. So what are we going to learn about today? Well, this is one of the questions I seem to get asked the most is how do I actually move money from Coinbase or Kraken or Crypto.com or whichever one, how do I move money from that to Dextrade so that I can actually buy and sell Texacoin on Dextrade. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you step by step here on the phone so you guys can fully understand. So let me scoot over here so that we have actual room for the phone so you can follow me step by step on how we do this. All right, first thing we're going to do, we are going to go to our Dextrade um, app, click on that, get it to load up. Once it actually gets loaded up, you can see down there at the very bottom, you're going to click on Wallet. Once you click on Wallet, you're going to wait a second for that to get loaded up. Once it loads up, up at the very, at the, at the very top, you are going to see uh, something in the middle called Spot. Uh, remember that because almost everything you do on Dextrade involves on clicking on that spot. That's where like everything you need is. Once you click on Spot, you are then going to choose which type of crypto that you're actually trying to move over to Dextrade. Today we're going to do USDC. So we're going to search for USDC. When it pops up here, we're going to click on it. When it comes up on the next thing, it's going to have you choose which uh, network you actually want to use this on. Okay, so when you look on here, you're actually going to see three different choices of networks to use. Um, I think there's different cryptos you can use that give you uh, more or less uh, to choose from. But the problem is, uh, the other two are not available to actually send off of on Coinbase. So at this point, we're going to have to use Ethereum as our network. One thing you need to understand, anytime you're doing any type of transactions, you're moving them from one place to another, you have to make sure that you're on the same network. You, you just do not want to send it to the wrong one because you send to it a wrong address that you don't have any control. There's absolutely no way to actually get it back. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on Ethereum as the network and then we're going to need to go actually start our Coinbase app up. All right, once we get to our uh, our Coinbase account, remember this is pretty similar um, for the other type of exchanges that are out there. We're going to click on transfer. When we pull the transfer up, we're going to see we have multiple choices there. We're going to click on send crypto. Okay, so from what I understand that USDC is the cheapest way uh, to send to Dextrade. So we're going to go ahead and get uh, a USDC. Um, if you have it in Bitcoin or Ethereum or USDT, you need to be you need to swap those out on there so that you actually have it into USDC. Now the next screen that pops up is, is asking you for the actual address that you want to send to. This is the one that you're going to go back to uh, Dextrade. And you're going to actually copy it from that from your Dex trade one. When you're on the next screen, it's going to say "Send Crypto to," and it's going to have a blank spot there. If you already have the uh, if you already have that wallet address copied from Dex trade, it's going to uh, uh, alert you that you can just immediately paste it. If not, just right just uh, click on that area and paste. That way, you go ahead and submit that wallet. Then it's going to go to the next screen where it's going to just basically ask you to confirm by clicking on that wallet uh, uh, one more time. Now it's going to get there and it's going to ask you which asset you want to send. So it wants to know which crypto are you actually going to send. Um, the first ones that are going to pull up are the ones that you actually have on Coinbase right now. So right now we have uh, USDC. So we're going to go ahead and click on USDC. Then the next screen we come to is the one where we're going to choose the network. As you can see here, there's a bunch of networks to choose from. But the only one that matches up with, with Dextrade is Ethereum. And this is the one where it's going to charge you a little bit of, of a small fee. The other ones will say free, but you can't because all we have is Ethereum. So go ahead and click on Ethereum. Now is the screen where you actually choose how much you want, you, you want to send. So go ahead and type in what you want to send or hit max if you want to send everything that you have in your wallet. All right, next thing, you're going to have an actual confirmation screen that's going to show you how much you're sending. It's going to show you the wallets you're sending to. Go ahead and go down to the bottom and click send now so it'll go ahead and send it after a few seconds it'll give you a confirmation that it's actually sent now is you know there's a little bit of a waiting game um even though these transactions happen almost immediately i don't know because the way some of these exchanges are designed they don't allow them to actually happen immediately or they allow them to happen immediately but they don't actually show you that they've happened 
So the easiest way to really know when a transaction has finally gone through on Dextrade is Dextrade is going to send you an email and that email is going to show you that the transaction has already happened. So I tend to just sit there and wait for an email to pop up but instead of going to Dextrade and keep trying to refresh it all the time. I just wait for that email to show up. Okay, so when you go back to Dextrade again, you may still already be on the wallet, but if you're not, I click on the wallet down at the bottom, then click on spot again so that it pulls up everything you have. It should uh, now pull up an estimated balance to show the money that you put in there. And then if you scroll down a little bit farther down at the bottom, you'll actually see the USDC that you have sitting there. Okay, so now the next thing to know is when you are on Dextrade, you, you have to use USDT to actually uh, do uh, transfers or to do uh, buying and selling of the Texas coin is on there. So the easiest way to do that is just to simply do a quick exchange. So if you click on the two little uh, arrows that are down there in the blue circle, when you click on that, the bottom one to choose from is the quick exchange. Click on that. You're going to see this is where you can exchange one cryptocurrency for another. So at the top, you're going to want to choose USDC and it's going to show you how much you actually have. And then you're going to choose USDT for the bottom one. That way you can exchange all. If you want to do all of it, just click on maximum, then go down to the bottom in the green. You're going to click convert. You've got to do it pretty quickly because what it's, what it's actually doing is it's checking the price of whatever the cryptocurrency is, making sure it's giving you an update price within, you know, four or five seconds each time. So you want to quickly click on convert so that it'll change it over. You can see there's a small fee. It's about 0.056 cents to actually do this conversion. Okay, so now you are ready to trade. Click on the uh, two arrows down at the bottom in the blue circle. When the next thing comes up, click on spot trading. Now, if you've been on uh, the TXC coin before, it'll automatically pull up. If not, you want to click up there at the top on the coin that's actually showing. It, it usually defaults to BTC. Click on that. It'll give you the ability to search so you can change it to TXC. Now you will act, you have the ability to actually trade your coins here. You'll see down there in the middle, it shows available. The amount of USDT that you actually have available will show there. So now that's the amount that you actually have to begin trading. All right, there you guys go. There is the basics of moving crypto from Coinbase over to Dextrade so that you can begin to trade. If you guys got any questions or comments, be sure and leave them down below. So thanks again, guys, and God bless.